Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers an alternative option for non-enterprise users to take attendance in Google Meet and track attendance data over time. So Google Meet does have a built-in feature to collect attendance, but that is only available for people who are using the enterprise version of G Suite, which means schools that pay for the Google tools. If your school uses the enterprise version, then be sure to check out my video linked down in the description that explains how to use the built-in attendance feature. However, if your school uses the free version of the Google tools, then the attendance feature will not be available for you. So in this video, we're going to take a look at one possible workaround to collect attendance during a Google Meet and to track that attendance over time. So what is this workaround? Well, for this option, we're going to use a template that I created that includes a Google form for the students to submit their attendance and then a Google spreadsheet that collects the attendance and then a pivot table in the spreadsheet that will track and summarize the attendance over time. First, we will begin by making a copy of the templates. Now, certainly you can create this form and this sheet on your own, but to make things easy, you can simply get a copy of my templates. You can get a copy using the link bit.ly slash meet dash attendance dash template or you can find the link in the description for this video or in my blog post when you follow the link you will click the make a copy button to get your own copy of the google spreadsheet this will actually make a copy of both the google sheet that will collect the attendance as well as the google form that the students will use to submit their attendance when the copy of the sheet is made you can open up the copied form by clicking the form menu in the top menu bar and then selecting edit form from the drop down menu this will open up your copy of the form that is linked to that sheet of course, both the Google Form and the Google Sheet will also be saved in your Google Drive, so you can access them there as well. Feel free to rename the Sheet and the Form if you would like. And of course, feel free to use the link to make multiple copies if you want to use a different one for each class you teach, or you can use the same Form and Sheet for all of your students. Now that we have a copy of the form and the sheet, how do we use them? Well, let's start with the form. This is a very simple form that automatically collects the date and time and the student's email address when a student marks themselves as present and submits the form. You shouldn't really have to change anything in the form, but just to be safe, you could check the settings before using it with your students. To do this, click on the settings gear up in the top right hand corner. Make sure that the box is checked for collect email addresses and make sure the box is checked to restrict the form to only users from your school. Both of these settings should already be checked. With these selected, the form will make sure your students are logged into their school accounts and will automatically collect their email addresses. Be sure to save any changes if you make any changes. Now you need to get the link for the form so your students can record their attendance during a Google Meet. The quickest way to get the link is simply to click on the preview button in the top right hand corner that looks like an eyeball. When the live form opens in a new tab, simply select and copy the address up in the top address bar. When you are in a Google Meet, you'll want to give this link to your students so they can fill out the form to submit their attendance. You can do this in several ways, including pasting the link into the chat or putting the link into the calendar event or even adding the link as a material in Classroom. So let's try it out. We will start up a Google Meet as normal. And of course, we would have our students join. Next, we would open up the chat in Google Meet and then paste in the link that we copied 
to our Google Form. When a student clicks on the link, it'll open up the attendance form. Because of our settings, the form will automatically collect the student's email address. All the student needs to do is check the box for present and submit the form. As the students submit the form, the data will automatically be collected in the Google Sheet. The first tab of the sheet has columns for the date and time and the student's email addresses. It also contains a formula to split the date and time so the attendance can be processed by date. The second tab of the sheet is a pivot table that lists all of the students alphabetically by their email address and then shows who was present for each day. This allows you to see attendance for any day of the year or for any student as well as totals per day and totals per student. And that's it. You can use the same form for the entire school year as an easy way for students to mark their attendance and for you to track all of the attendance data. Now certainly there are other ways to take attendance in Google Meet, including several different extensions, but this may be an option that works well for you. So that is how to use Google Forms and Sheets as an alternative way for managing attendance in Google Meet. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meet videos.